Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. My name's William. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're picking back up in the Diamond DA62 for another FS Economy flight. We have five passengers. We're going to be taking from Taranji to Amara, Amarama. Um, I don't know, I'm probably butchering both of those. Either way, uh, the flight should make us about $5,000. Uh, to carry these five people to and from uh, both of these places so made a bit of a custom flight plan to keep us clear of the terrain i hope you all enjoy the flight let's get into it welcome on board the diamond da60 we're on the ramp here where we left off uh, loading up the people from the uh, shed over there you can see our aircraft here is showing on the ground available so we're going to go ahead and go through go to action and start our flight load up those five passengers and get underway so with them getting all on board and everything we're gonna go ahead and start getting the aircraft ready for engine start so first let's just come through make sure our parking brake is set fuel is set to on alright so we'll get our battery on we're gonna get our strobe light on let's wait for these screens to come up real quick so we'll just double check we have good fuel, everything. There we go. Okay. Now come over, get alternator on for left and right. We'll go ahead and start the left engine first. And it is clear. So we'll turn the master on. And uh, we can see that it is on. And we will hit the starter button. Alright, engine is started up. And we can see good oil pressure, oil temperature is on the rise, coolant temperature is as well. Alright, so now we want to do the same for the right engine. So we'll turn the master on. And see, wait until this turns off real quick. And then hit the starter. Engine starts right up. These things have diesel engines, so you gotta let them kind of warm up whenever you turn the uh, master on. Uh, pretty neat actually and so engine is started up we'll go ahead and get avionics master on we'll go pedo on get our taxi light on as well to go ahead and get ready to move let's check and see if we have any wind we don't have a wind sock here at the airport uh, but we'll go ahead and check and see what it says no wind data available so uh, nothing for us on that we'll get our flaps into the takeoff position Okay, so uh, we're pretty heavy and it is going to be a challenge to get out of this airstrip. So our runway is available. We can either taxi down and uh, take off using runway uh, 20 or we can just turn left out of here and use runway um, 02 for departure. Uh, I honestly think it's going to be equally challenging either way, uh, but there's less terrain in front of us if we take off. Um, towards the north, so I think that's what we're going to go for. So we got our flight started, and we're ready to go, we're loaded up. Let's go ahead and get our landing light on, and we'll turn our taxi light off. We'll come out over here, and we're going to use all the room available. Alright, so we're going to just make a right and line ourselves up all right let's get stopped there let's not use up any more of the room uh, today we're going to be rotating at 78 knots we need to get up and out of here as quickly as possible we have our takeoff flaps in and we should be ready to go as far as all of that is concerned um, we're going to go full power and let it build before we release our brakes Okay, so looking for 78 knots, and then we will be on the climb. Um, we'll set the rest of it up kind of as we get in the air. Uh, after I just set an initial altitude there, that will work. All right, so full power. Let's let it build. All everything looks like it is in the green there, and we'll release our brakes. Let's give some back pressure. This thing is so sluggish on the takeoff roll here. We are trundling along. Let's wait to get that airspeed alive. Airspeed is alive. We have 
have some big trees to clear too at the end. All right, nose wheel is up. There's 50 knots. Seventy knots. Seventy-eight knots. We are up. Gears coming up. Gear in transition. Clean the aircraft up. Let's get up above these trees. All right. Built the airspeed so we could kind of zoom it up there at the last second. We can pitch down now. We're clear of the trees. Start accelerating again. Get our flaps in. Let's hold 10 degrees of pitch. I'm just barely scraping out of there. Those five passengers are probably like, we're paying you how much for this? Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting our left turn now. We're going to continue climbing out. And about 110 knots. No work for me. It's not the most efficient climb. Uh, we could go for, but we also uh, just want to keep our speed up as well. So we're going to bust through the clouds, and uh, I think we're going to go for uh, 12,000 feet here for our cruise altitude. The flight plan we have set up should keep us pretty clear of the terrain. We will be flying over some pretty mountainous stuff, though, on the way, so I will go ahead and set ourselves on uh, 220 here. Trying to trim the aircraft up for this climb. I'm going to go ahead and set my heading like that and engage a heading mode. Now let's see if we have a flight level change mode available and we do and we'll engage our autopilot. So we can go ahead and go through and start working on the aircraft a little bit more. So we're getting our landing light off. Just going to monitor a couple other things. We're going to keep just the power fully maxed at the moment. Not worried too much about the fuel. So let's just keep that up. And let's set up our altitude. So uh, 12,000. So we're going to go for 12,000. Uh, let's zoom this map out and just kind of see other way. Just kind of see, make sure we're good on, unless we want to avoid that, uh, it's like a big volcano. We want to definitely make sure we avoid that. So let's go down to our first point. Hit direct. That's not what I wanted to do. Flight plan. Move the cursor down. Let's see if this works. just want to hit direct two and get it to go direct two, but it's not going to work. Yeah, I'd have to manually punch it, punch it in. Uh, it's very annoying. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, we'll just re-intercept that course as we go through. Sorry about that. I was kind of expecting it to work that way, but it doesn't. We're going through the cloud layer. Hopefully it'll smoothen out once we kind of get up through it. Keeping it on flight level change mode here. It's holding rock steady basically on 160 knots. It's great to see. Getting a little bit bumpy out there. Just start to just start to get a little bit nicer as we continue climbing up. We'll go ahead and bring the heading left. To 210 and we'll start to kind of intercept our, our GPS course uh, a little bit a little bit better than we would if we just threw it onto nav mode since we're going to be going all the way up here too we'll go ahead and get our position lights on whole bunch of cloud cover. Let's 
still really good performance on the climb out, even with all the weight. Now we're doing 1300 feet a minute on the way up to 12,000. I guess that's kind of what a twin gets you, but still. That's nice to see. Hopefully the twin will get us a, a decent amount of uh, cruise speed as well once we get up to altitude. Let's see some of those bigger peaks off our uh, left wing towards our south here. We'll be flying along a mountain range basically on the way in as well. Uh, some pretty cold air so with the heat coming on up in the cabin keep everyone nice and comfortable and we're about to intercept our GPS course we'll go ahead and put it onto nav mode I yeah, see it's gonna be a little bit more aggressive but uh, we'll let it do it. we'll let it do its thing So you can get an idea of what the uh, flight looks like from the screen in here. This is basically what we can see. I uh, put in this first fix so we could avoid the volcano, basically. Just a good routing around it. And then um, uh, start getting us down on course. And like I said, avoiding the uh, large terrain features, basically, and, and just kind of paralleling them down towards... Um, towards our destination. We're going into another grass strip today. That is uh, really cool to see that lake up there. Just going off in front of the uh, left wing. A big old volcano. Just about 2,000 feet to go on the climb. All the way up above the weather now. Nice smooth ride. Go ahead and come back on the power just a little bit. I could have done it a little bit earlier, but we'll bring it back sure everything's kind of staying in a decent range. Getting just a little bit of a tailwind at the moment. Not a whole lot of wind data at the, as it seems. That really is something out the left wing. And it should be out our right wing once uh, we kind of cross over. I do not regret buying this aircraft in this area. I just think it's funny that it uh, means that we're going to be flying into and out of a whole bunch of dirt and grass runways and stuff. We'll get into some, some better airports uh, before too long, but I'm not going to pass up uh, five grand to take, take some people from uh, point A to point B. It's not that long of a flight, so. 500 feet to go to the top of our climb. We'll level out at 12,000. We could go higher in the aircraft, but uh, 12,000 sounds good. There's that flight level change mode. It seems to disengage almost always. Um, and it's, it gets kind of uncomfortable as well. So we'll switch over to a vertical speed mode for the last little bit. And just let it kind of climb up for the capture. Uh, 500 feet per minute. And we'll start to accelerate as well before we pull our power back. I think we're going to go for about 70% there and see what that'll get us in our cruise. 
We're already doing 165 knots almost across the ground, 164 just ticked over. So we'll see what we can get in the cruise. We're in really smooth air so we can get up into our yellow arc if I need to. I think I accidentally tapped my trim there. I don't think that was the plane's fault. Just want to make sure all the passengers are awake back there. I know I can ramble on, put them to sleep. So we're going to keep 90% here until uh, we get our speed up a little bit more. And we'll see what we can do. This first time really getting to uh, stretch this plane's legs, so I'm not sure how it's going to perform in the cruise. Just 9.5 gallons per hour at 12,000 feet and 90% on the power, uh, doing 185 knots across the ground. That's not bad at all, but we'll go ahead and pull the power back. Let's see if we can hold 180 knots across the ground at uh, 8 gallons an hour. If we can hold that speed, I will. Uh, I'll be happy. We're 181 knots. We do have a, a little bit of help from a tailwind, but it looks like it's gonna hold there, just about. All right, so we're in the cruise now. Let's take in the sights, kick back, and enjoy. And uh, before too long, we'll start our descent and uh, get ready to land at another potentially extremely challenging airport. So we just crossed over uh, Begmu, and we are now direct to our destination airport. You see the time here is coming up a little bit. We're, we got a bit of a headwind now in front of us, but we're uh, 7 minutes and 51 seconds out. We're going to hold off on our descent until we are uh, 6 minutes out and start to drop in. Try and give us a little bit better... Um, uh, angle to kind of clear some of this terrain as uh, as we start to fly in on our approach. Airport we're going to has runway um, in sim. It said runway two sim two seven left and zero nine right, with no other options for like two seven right and uh, nine or left. Uh, but we are right on the edge of some water, so thinking potentially maybe. Um, uh, maybe that's what's going on there. If, if not, I'm, I'm not too sure. It kind of looks like the airport's away from the water, in all honesty, on our map there. But either way, uh, 27 left and 09 right, um, and, and it's, it's a, a, a decent uh, length as well. I think about 4,600 feet, so nothing, nothing really to worry about, but it is another grass runway we'll be uh, flying into. So just waiting on the descent. So we're actually going to hold off a little bit more on our descent here. Uh, we're 15 miles from the field. Uh, we're still at 12,000 feet. Um, it's kind of crazy, but uh, we got to get over this terrain and clear it. Um, we're going to hold off here for just another like 30 seconds or so, uh, just to get a little bit closer to this terrain, and then start our way down. 
doesn't sound like a lot, but I do want to get uh, uh, stay nice and clear of it on our uh, path down. So we're going to set 3,000 for the altitude initially, and uh, just drop in over that terrain. See the really uh, <laughs> this look like quite a, quite an aggressive mountain range there off our right side. Some nice mountains as well off towards our left kind of this little valley uh, right in front of us so uh, we have waited long enough we'll go ahead and pull the power back and start our way down we'll tell everyone in the back to uh, hold on and this is the fun part so let's just keep our speed in the, uh, try and keep our speed in the green range. We'll probably get some bumpy air coming over the um, top of the ridges here. But we're just 10 miles from the field. We're coming through 10,500 feet. We could have flown around the mountains, but we have really good visibility around here, so. Um, we'll just, uh, just cruise over it, basically, um, and, and maintain a, a good distance above them, hopefully. So we're going to actually decrease our descent a little bit, uh, just to make sure we are actually staying, uh, well over the top of the ridges below us. We have runway 27 left and 09 right available for us at the field. Um, we're getting a wind almost directly out of the west for the last portion of our flight here. So we're going to plan for 27. It says 27 left and 27, or I'm sorry, 27 left and 09 right, but uh, there was no 27 right. Uh, zero nine or left available, so not really sure what's going on with that, but um, it is what it is. It's seven miles now, We're starting to look for the field. It should be off in front of us somewhere. That may be it over there. Kind of, we're crabbing in. I'm, I'm not too sure though. I think it'd be right off our nose. Could be the field as well. It could be so far below us that we can't really see. Alright, so we're going to continue down. Uh, increase our rate of descent. Back down to 3,000 feet a minute. Max it out. Five miles now. To the field. And so the runway should be running uh, this way, basically. Kind of like that. Let's see if that looks like the uh, airfield to you guys. Four miles off the nose. That is the airfield. We will uh, just cross over midfield. Actually, if that is the airfield, we'll just turn outbound uh, flight 270 and then um, kind of come back in after flying a full pattern. We got pretty smooth air, so we're going to keep it in the yellow range and just absolutely blast down on the descent, dropping in through that terrain. Two and a half miles now off our nose. Almost to 3,000 feet. I am definitely thinking that is the runway down there. guys can take a look. Alright, there is 3,000 feet. We're going to continue down. But, pull back a little bit. Let's turn and fly directly 270. Big trim, big trim adjustment. I really gotta figure out a different button or situation for my trim. That's so jarring. Sorry about that. 
So 270, we're going to fly this outbound. Come up on the power. We don't need to accelerate necessarily, but hold this airspeed. We're within range of uh, going our first notch of flaps, and we could definitely get our gear out if we need to. Let's hold 2600. Get a little bit more power in. Alright, so we'll fly. Uh, we'll just continue down all the way around and fly back east, set up for a pattern basically into runway 27. Beautiful area, really just tucked right into these mountains. You can see the field there off our right wing, that's where we're going to be coming into. Once again, one of those places I would have never, ever, ever flown to. It's a bit of a long flight, but uh, they're paying good money for it, so. You gotta keep in mind where the runway is basically right at the base of those mountains. Uh, the wind is coming kind of through the valley. It's directly behind us right now, but still. I uh, want to keep that in mind. And since we're about a beam right now, let's go ahead and get the gear down. It's in transition. Alright, three green lights. Gear is down. We'll go take off flaps. We're below 136 knots. Let's get below 119 so we're ready for landing flaps. And let's start to descend a little bit more. Looking at the field, it almost looks like maybe uh, uh, the uh, opposite runway or the, the, the secondary runway that runs parallel is actually the road or uh, something along those lines. It's kind of interesting. So once we're south here, we'll go ahead and go full landing flaps and then uh, looking for just around 90, 90, 95 knots on our approach speed. So we're through south, get landing flaps out, we'll go ahead and turn inbound, stay uh, clear of this terrain. Let's get some more power in, set our speed. Alright, so we're lining up for the runway. We need to sit up in our seats so we can actually see over the nose of this thing. Got about four knots on the nose. It's a really cool looking area. There's mountains right there to the left, that's insane. Alright. A little fast. Pitch up a little bit. Drop our airspeed. Pull the power back so we can keep our uh, rate of descent about where we want it. All right, and start pulling the power back. Hold the nose up, hold the nose up. We got plenty of room here. Alright. We're down, full back pressure. Start slowing the aircraft down. Get our flaps up. And uh, we will taxi up here. And park. Looks like we got a nice little building crew waiting on us. 
and a uh, pump to fill up that. We're definitely going to need that because uh, we just got about nine gallons in our left and right tank at the moment. It's good enough for about an hour of cruise, but we're running a little bit low. Alright, so just taxi up here and get ourselves parked. And we will complete our flight. I hope you all enjoyed. That was a really cool place to fly into. It's a longer flight. But fun nevertheless. Like I said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And, uh, yeah. Definitely be doing more of this. Let me know... Is it, for sure, give a comment or uh, send me a message or something if you want to get involved with uh, FS Economy. Just setting our break there. And it is going to complete our flight. So I accidentally clicked it before, but you can see now our aircraft is uh, on the ground at Amara Amara. We've been paid for uh, getting them here. So let's go ahead and shut the aircraft down, go through all of that to get it turned off. We get our avionics master off. And we can come up here and right engine master. Engine is coming down. Fuel to cut off as so we open that guard. All right, fuel is cut off. We'll do the same for left. And uh, flight sim's gonna say thank you. You've completed your flight. Thank you, flight sim. All right, left engine is turned off. Open the guard and put it into cutoff. We're going to get our strobe light off and battery off. So that is us shut down at the ground. And wait and see what uh, what kind of job we can pick up to we can pick up for the aircraft next and hopefully um, get into some more uh, proper airports. It's been fun flying into these kind of airports, but I do want to try and get um, uh, a little bit more kind of proper uh, actual. Uh, paved runways and everything in this plane um, Not that this hasn't been fun, but l let me know if you've been enjoying kind of bush flying the diamond around uh, It has been entertaining for me, but um, Anyways, thank you so much for flying along with me today I hope you all enjoyed and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one until then. Bye. Bye